All right, guys, I think maybe I have found a telescopic cane that doesn't suck. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sam, this is The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel. For years now, you guys have been asking me for telescopic canes. Find a good telescopic cane, and I've been looking. I did make a video about a telescopic cane once before, and you guys really seem to like that video, and I get a lot of questions about that cane, but unfortunately, it did not last very long. It, like most telescopic canes, suffered from two main problems. Number one, it collapsed all the time. If you've ever used a telescopic cane, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anytime you're walking along, it hits any kind of little bump or groove or crack or anything and it just collapses on itself. But the main problem with that cane and ultimately was its downfall is that it just wasn't very strong and ultimately it broke. And it really wasn't that long. It was just a couple months after I made the video, I went to close the cane and maybe I was a little too enthusiastic. <laughs> Aggressive, you could maybe say. But the cane bent right in half and broke. Ever since then, I have been on the hunt for a cane that does not suffer from those two main problems. And I finally found it. First of all, a huge thank you to several of you, at least three or four of you recommended this cane. And I finally went ahead and purchased this cane. And I did buy this cane myself. This is not sponsored. But this is a really, really cool telescopic cane. It doesn't really have a name. I've got it pulled up on Amazon here. It just goes by Titanium Telescopic Cane. It's currently available on LSNS and on Amazon. I will include links in the video description down below, the best prices, and a much wider variety of sizes or lengths are available on Amazon, but we'll talk about that later. So this is a titanium aluminum alloy cane, which means it already solves the first problem of telescopic canes not being strong enough. And then, which I absolutely love about this cane is it solves the second problem and it actually locks in place with a pin system. Now, I know what you're probably saying, other telescopic canes lock in place. You just pull it out and you kind of give it a twist, but come on. Number one, nobody really does that every single time they open up their cane. And number two, it just doesn't work. I'm sorry. You might get a couple sections twisted and tightened down, but you're not gonna get them all. It's just, it's just not the best method. Unlike this one. This one utilizes a pin, a little pop-up pin, to lock all the different sections. And every section has a pin, but when you want to unlock and close it, you only need to push the top pin in and that triggers all the others to collapse. The engineering on this is fantastic. Whoever invented this did just a fabulous job. Not only does mechanically it work really well, but it's just a really cool looking cane to begin with. Number one, it is all metal. It's that titanium aluminum alloy. So it just looks very it kind of looks cyberpunk. Like, I feel like this could totally fit into a cyberpunk Halloween costume. Oh, I hate when I have to correct myself. Uh, editing Sam here, I totally meant to say steampunk, not cyberpunk. Steampunk. Although I guess it would work for cyberpunk as well. But I was thinking steampunk at the time. And although... These sections are this kind of metal and it is very reflective, highly reflective metal color. It's a very, um, it's not a shiny like chrome metal. It's a very aluminum style metal color. The bottom two sections are red. So once again, identifying it at least mostly here in the States as a cane for the visually impaired. Each section has this little white collar, which once again, adds to just the really cool look. You've got this repeating metal and white color pattern, which is really cool. But as I said, each section has its own little spring-loaded pin that pops into place and holds it nice and tightly. Then when you want to collapse your cane, you only need to press in the pin at the very top in the handle, and then everything collapses super smoothly. The tip on the cane is a metal tip. It's kind of like a metal glide tip, but the shape of it is more like a ceramic tip. So it's a bit of a rounded, blunt end. 
and this tip does screw into the bottom section here. And that's one thing to note when I first got mine that was a little loose. So I just finger tightened it there and now it's good. But that might be something you want to keep in mind if you are going to pick up this cane is that you might want to check that every now and then just to make sure it's not loosening. You have a rubber coating over the grip over the handle here and it is very grippy flares out a little bit here at the top at the end and you do have an elastic wrist strap here is the titanium telescopic cane now how long this metal tip will last because this is already starting to get scratched up just being on this concrete now one thing to note is that this does have a little bit of wobble and here to see if you can hear it so it is not 100% rigid. Um, there's not much flex in the cane at all, and there is very little rotation. Each of these sections, it's not complete. It's not a complete cylinder. It's kind of ribbed, and that's for structural integrity to keep it from flexing and moving around. The cane comes in several different lengths. The lengths that you have available on Amazon, these are in inches. You have a 46 inch, 48, 49, a 50 inch, 54 inch, which is what I got, and a 60 inch. My 54 inch cane has eight sections. The overall length of mine is just over 11 inches or about 28 centimeters. The weight is about seven and a half ounces or around 212 grams. So just to recap, this telescopic cane checks all the boxes in my opinion. I honestly haven't found any real negatives to talk about with this cane. It is solid, it is strong you can actually lean on it, all right? And although you can actually lean on it, put a little bit of weight on it, keep in mind that this is still a telescopic cane, only being held up by these little pins. I should probably sit back down, sorry. <laughs> and so if you put too much weight on it, one of these things is liable to break and it's gonna fail. So although it is a titanium cane, it's a titanium aluminum alloy. So it is strong, but this is not like all-terrain cane kind of strong. Several sizes to choose from and at a pretty good price. Currently on Amazon, it is $39.85. Now, I will say that when I ordered mine, it took about two weeks for it to come in. So something to keep in mind, you're not going to get two-day shipping when you order this cane. All right, guys, I just want to give you my final thoughts on the telescopic cane. It's been a couple weeks since I recorded the, the bulk of this video, and in that time, I've used this cane a lot, and I've come to some conclusions. Number one, pretty much everything I said in the video is absolutely true. I love this cane. I think it's fantastic. It's definitely the best telescopic cane I've ever used. But I've also learned a couple of negatives in that time that I wanted to make sure to let you guys know about. Number one is the tip. The tip is not the best. Um, well, I should say it's not the best for all situations. On hard and soft surfaces like linoleum, hardwood floors, or carpet, it works great, it slides right along, no problems. But on rough, uneven surfaces like concrete, asphalt, it is terrible. Any forward movement, it just catches everything. It gets stuck in everything. It just does not slide at all. I don't know if there's any other compatible tips for this cane. It is a screw on tip. You may get lucky and find another tip that will fit this cane, but I don't know of one. That's honestly the biggest downside to this cane. Uh, the other thing, which is not that big of a deal, but now that we're going into the winter time, this cane gets cold very fast. Because it is an all metal cane, uh, it gets cold on, in your hands very, very quickly. So if you are barehanded out in the cold, this cane is going to be uncomfortable to hold on to. Like I said, not that big of a deal really, but definitely wanted to make you guys aware of it. Other than that, in my couple of weeks of having this cane, it's been great. And that leads me to my final thoughts on this as to what this cane would be best suited for. And this is gonna be a great backup cane. If you are a constant contact or two point touch 
cane user, I would not get this as your primary cane. I would get this as a backup cane, a travel cane. It's fantastic for that. If you just need a cane for identification, some light probing, then this could definitely be a primary cane for that. But you, if you are a mobility cane user, I wouldn't get this simply because of that tip issue. Okay, back to the video, we'll do our outro. All right guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this telescopic cane. Does this look like it might be a good option for you? Also, while you're down there in the comments, if you have any questions, let me know. If you like this kind of content, please help out the channel by subscribing and make sure all notifications are turned on so you'll be alerted whenever I put out a new video, which is every single Saturday. And because we haven't done it in a while, I've got to give a huge thank you to all my channel members. You guys are super awesome. And you know what? If it weren't for channel members helping to support The Blind Life, I wouldn't be able to get items like this telescopic cane to feature on the channel. So a huge thank you for that. And if you would like to help out and become a member of the channel, check out the information listed below. You can also go to the membership page on the YouTube channel. But that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Sam with The Blind Life, I will see you next time.